Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how we do the island effect here in Inkscape. Um, you'll notice that we have nice, a nice jagged edge around our island. We've got our airstrip here. We've got a road going around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is delete this. And uh, actually, let's keep it open. That might be easier. Okay, so here we go. What we would do first is to grab our pencil tool and then make kind of an island shape really fast. I like the pencil tool. It's it's pretty nice for this stuff. Okay, so there is our wacky island. One thing uh, to keep in mind is to, you know, draw areas where water might, you know, come in and form a bay or a cove or something like that, uh, which we probably did too many of. So you can come in here and use this edit path nodes tool and you can um, select a bunch of nodes those are those square things and hit delete and it'll make a line in between them and if you want to straighten out a curve you just click on a node and grab one of these circular handles and you just drag it around and you can straighten out an area of the, of the path there so we can make this look a little bit less boxy if we want we can just get rid of that altogether Okay, so all right, so let's say that's the general shape we like. We go up, we select this first with the selection tool up here, and uh, we go to effects, modify path, and fractalize. And fractalize gives us a really naturally jagged shape. I have my subdivision set to three, and smoothness, smoothness set to four. And if you set it much higher than this, it might make your computer slow down a bit because it puts a lot of nodes into this path. So here we go, I'll click OK. And there's our jagged edges. So you can see it looks a lot more like an island already. Um, and to give you an idea of what happened, we click on the node select tool, and you can see all the little nodes that it added here. So the more of those it has to add, um, it has to draw a more detailed picture every time you you know scroll the window or zoom in and out. So that's what would slow your computer down. OK, so let's talk about making a road that goes around the island. Now that we have our, our basic island shape, um, all we want to do is, well, let's, let's first of all fill this in with a color. You can come down here on the bottom and you can um, select a palette. I'm going to select, uh, what's it going on, khaki maybe? There we go. There's a lot of nice colors in khaki. Okay, so there's my island. Um, now there's a cool tool uh, that we can use where we go to edit, copy, and then paste, instead of paste, which paste it off to the side here, I'm going to delete that, we do paste in place, and that keeps it in the same place as the old one. So you don't even really notice what happened, but you know now if you drag it away, you've got two copies in the same place. So this is kind of nice because what we can do is we can go to our path, and we can use a command called inset. And inset takes the that outline, or the path, and uh, See how it insets it a little bit? So maybe you're getting an idea for how we can uh, make a road here. Okay, so I do that twice. And now there's another command that's really cool that's um, called simplify. And you know, you notice it teaches you the, the keyboard shortcuts to the side here. So you can hit control L and it does the same thing as simplify. So it's nice to kind of know those so you don't have to come to the menu every time. But I'm going to click simplify and you can see we have this kind of more natural uh, shaped road. Still, we're getting kind of close to the edge of the island, um, so I'm going to inset one more time. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty well uh, simplified. Let's try it one more time and see. Oh, that's a much better road. Okay, a lot smoother. Um, and what we can do now is make another copy, paste in place. So we have another copy sitting there, and can you guess what command I'm going to use to make our other copy inset? I'm going to use the inset command. So all of a sudden we have a road that goes around our island. You can inset it more to make the road look wider. But I kind of like, uh, you have to keep scale in mind. How big would that road be? How big would the cars be? So how big would that make the island? I want the road to be a little bit thinner than that. Okay, so um, there it is. Now the problem is we can't color the road very easily right now. Because if we select this one shape and click on a color, it's going to fill in the middle of the shape. Um, and instead of filling in the road color. So we need to select both the um, 
the inset shape here and the shape we copied it from. So the, the inside of the road and the outside of the road. So what we need to do is uh, to select the, one of the objects and then you can actually hold down Alt and uh, click again and it will dig down uh, one level below the object you click and select what's below it. So I'm going to hold down Shift and uh, we, uh, we did the Control Alt click to click what's behind this object and then we added, uh, hit hold down Shift and click to, um, to select uh, the one that's on top. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to combine these somehow. And we have all these path combining tools. Union, difference, intersection, exclusion, division, and cut path. And these are kind of cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is try, I think, intersection. No, nope, that's not it. I'm trying to remember which one it is here. So control alt click, shift, uh, control alt click, shift click. There we go. Okay, uh, is it difference? Let's try that. Now, if we should be able to tell the difference if we color it and, it and the road changes colors, then it's, it's worked. So yeah, it looks like it worked. The road is now changing colors when I click on these colors below. And uh, so there's our road, all done. And if we zoom in, you can see it's colored gray. Nice little road color. If we want to, we can also open the, the stroke dialog by clicking once on the S color right here. And that opens up a little window over to the side. And you can set um, the color of the road outlines by going to stroke paint. So I can make that a lighter color. I'll leave it dark for now. Stroke style, we can set the width of the stroke, which is kind of cool. So that's the width of the road's outlines. See how that got thinner? So I'll keep it at 0.5. Um, it's got a bunch of a bunch of crazy things. You can make it dashed, you know, if you want to. Um, you can do all kinds of pretty cool effects on it. Um, so I'm gonna close that. Um, so that's basically how we did the uh, island outline. And uh, to do something like an airstrip, you select your box tool over here and uh, draw a box. Now mine is set to be rounded by default. Um, regardless, you'll see these, these circles up here and you can drag on these to make it square or rounded. So make it more squared off. And the opacity on this, that's how transparent it is, it's kind of whack. So come down here, it says O is 33. And so let's set that opacity to 100. That makes um, opacity is how not transparent something is. So if we set that to 100%, it's 100% not transparent. So there we go. There's our master opacity set all the way up. And now airports, like sometimes they'll have, well, a lot of the time they'll have like kind of this cross airstrip here. So you can kind of combine them like some funky way. And what we do is um, click one, hold down shift, click the other one. So you have them both selected go to path and remember we had these path operations we want union so that they don't have this kind of overlap in the middle so we'll click union and there we go there's our airstrip so this is like our little Iwo Jima island or something right um, you can you can draw fortifications on the island if you want um, to draw a circle that's perfectly circular hold down the control key when you're drawing a circle right and you can put that somewhere and say that's our uh, gun turret or something you know Anyway, so there's a lot of little um, cool things you can do. Um, experiment, uh, see if you can draw like a road that connects these two. Actually, let me, let me see how I do that. I'd probably start with the pencil tool, drag right here, end up right there. Take that shape, hold down shift, select our road, go to path and union. There we go, and that would join it. So now it looks a little bit odd because it's like thicker at some parts than it is at others. So we can click on our node editor tool and grab the parts that are, that are thick. Kind of straighten them out a bit. Okay. So that's a really quick and kind of sloppy way to make a, a row join there. You end up with some weird results. Um, but it, it works. I'm going to undo that. There we go.
go. Okay, and uh, lastly, um, we inset the road and smoothed it to be able to make the road right. We inset the island outline. So we can actually um, take that island, copy, paste in place, and then we can um, arrange things. See how this kind of sits on top of everything and covers it up? We can go to object, and you, can, you have raise, lower, raise to top and lower to bottom. Let's lower this one to the bottom. And this is going to be kind of our island underwater part. And now we can't see it, but if we start hitting outset as opposed to inset, see how it kind of expands? Okay. And now we can go to path and do simplify, right? Let's outset it some more. And now it's got a stroke around it or an outline. So let's go ahead and click on our stroke um, block of color here to open that up again. I'm going to click the X saying don't outline it. All right. And so we can color this, you know, make it light blue or some some variant of that. Okay, you can um, you can see how kind of cool that is. Um, really easy to get that effect. Edit, copy, paste in place. Um, we're gonna set that to lower to bottom, and then go to path, outset, path, outset, path, outset. Same idea, and uh, we want to go lighter on this color. And another way to change the color is to just change the opacity down to like, you know, something that's a lot lighter. As long as you have a white background, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, so we got this kind of cool island shape. Um, other things you can do, you can experiment with um, gradients. You have this gradient tool over here. You just grab this and drag on top of your object that you want to color with a gradient. And then it tells us uh, the fill style up here. We can click edit, pull in our gradient editor. And this is a little bit confusing for beginners, I think, but um, it's made, this gradient is made up of two colors, the start color and this end color. And you choose the color you wanna edit. They're called stops. So we're gonna edit this one. The checkerboard means it's partially transparent, which we don't want because you can see through to the blue below it. So this A stands for alpha or alpha transparency. I'm gonna drag that all the way over to the right so it's not transparent anymore. And it'll make it a little bit darker. Okay. So you can see it adds a nice little visual effect to our island, makes it a little bit darker in the bottom. We can change the saturation to make it more gray or more brightly colored, right? And uh, make it darker. Okay, so that's about uh, all you need to know about that. Right on, so there is your um, cool little island in the middle of the ocean. And uh, to finish this off, we can grab our rectangle tool Draw a square around it, um, select it, go to path or to object, lower to bottom. We're going to make this our ocean. So we go to the fill color and click right on it. Choose like some blue, pretty blue color. Increase the saturation to make it a brighter blue and then lightness pull down to where you want it to be. Um, now you can see that we also have the option to edit our opacity here instead of going down to the bottom. So I'm just going to slide that all the way up so it's not transparent. And there we go. There's our island sitting there.